Hey guys, Craig here from Bloom Cop, and today I have a rather different unboxing for you. As you can see, it is an unboxing of the PlayStation Move and accessories. As you'll be quite rightly aware, this isn't a new piece of technology. However, it is a piece of tech that I held back on purchasing last year because, if I'm honest, I wasn't too sure about it. At the time, there wasn't a decent amount of titles that were released in conjunction with it, and I wasn't sure uh, whether or not it would be a bit gimmicky. But I've seen a couple of reviews online, and I've friend of mine's got it and I think it looks a bit interesting. Um, today I bought Killzone 3, I realise it's been out a little while. But it does utilise the PlayStation Move, I've had the Tiger Woods Golf game for a while and I play golf so I'll be interested to see how responsive it is as a unit. I am an owner of the Microsoft Kinect and I did buy that when it got released last year and I made the decision that I was only going to purchase one of them at the time. I have been very impressed with the Microsoft Kinect but I still feel as though there's quite a few titles for that that need to be released before it actually truly implements the technology that's out there for it. So I'll be rather interested to see whether or not this gives it a run for its money. So I'll put the two titles to one side and we'll crack on with the unboxing. Um, now if you shop around for these you can get a rather good deal. The RRP for the starter pack itself, which is the cheapest way of actually getting the majority of the items that you need to get started. This is a bit of a luxury product, but it's a little bit more convenient for me than using the DualShock controller in one hand and the um, PlayStation Move motion controller in the other. Put that to one side quickly, though. The PlayStation Move starter pack, I paid thirty-four ninety-nine for this for from Tesco's in England, which is really competitive when you go to other places such as Game or GameStation, where they sell this for the full RRP, which is £49.99, so there's instantly a £15 saving on there. This cost me £14.99, and that has an RRP of £25, but obviously if you add 14 to 35 you get 50 So for the price of just this from one, st from one store, I was able to get everything. So, quick box tour as we normally do on the Bloom Corp channel, and then we'll crack in. On the front of the box, it shows you what is included, and that is the PlayStation Move motion controller, and the PlayStation Eye camera, which is what it uses not only to track the movement of the controller itself, but also the person for some of the other features that are involved. So on the front we have a picture of the controller and the camera. So I should also mention that it does come with a starter disc, as you can see there. And on the front of the box there is a guy playing with the controller itself. On the side of the box it lists the three accessories that you get. Starter disc, camera and movement controller. On the back it tells you about it in a little bit more detail. And on the bottom of the device, as you can see, it shows you how to set it up and it tells you how the interface works. Scroll back out. On the left hand side it shows some rather happy people playing it. And that's it. So we will flip to the top and we will get in and try and make as little movement as possible. And we'll play I'll play playing with this for a couple of weeks and at which point I'll give you a review and it will either be in the form of a video going on the YouTube channel and also on the website www.bloomcorp.com or alternatively it will be just in the form of a written article. That's the first thing out of the box, that is the movement controller. We'll just quickly get everything out of the box and that will make it easier. We have a, well it's a setting up guide but I'll be honest I don't tend to read the paperwork that often. And again, uh, boom boom boom, possibly warranty, PlayStation movement controller, yeah, more instructions. What's this? Um, instructions regarding the camera. I'll tell you what, it's almost going to be better just pulling the uh, contents of this out and giving them a shake. The starting, the starter disc, and that has Sports Champions TV Super, uh, Superstar TV Superstars, Start Party, iPet and The Shoot. It's quite nice that they would chuck in a disc. I must admit, I've also got a, a Nintendo Wii, so... I'll just be interested from a personal point of view as well how this fares up against the Wii because obviously that was their sort of big thing initially whereas now we have games such as Killzone 3 and Tiger Woods with fantastic graphics but also the interactive involvement that you can get using the PlayStation Move and you can now understand why Nintendo is going to the extent of releasing a Wii U much earlier than they would have liked 
because the likes of Microsoft and PlayStation have stolen their thunder. So, we're getting into the content. So the first thing that we have is the PlayStation Eye camera. It has the camera at the front, as you can see. And I think you can adjust the focus by just turning this. It does click around a bit. You've got what appears to be either a speaker or a microphone. And then either side of the camera on the front, you'll just make out these two sort of lights or what do appear to be LEDs on the bottom just a, a rubbery grip and there is a cam ugh, a camera no there's not a camera there's a lead coming out of the back and that is obviously USB because that lid lifts off and it unveils a USB port which will plug right into the front of your PlayStation 3 depending upon the generation you have we also have a little cord that comes with it and that will obviously connect to the PlayStation Movement Controller which has one of the one of these light up orbs on the front and this is obviously quite clearly white the controller itself has a PlayStation Home button and, and I will see if this is going to play it up for us it may or may not and no it doesn't want to play a game Apart from that, we have the sort of the PlayStation Movement logo built into a button with your square, triangle, circle, and X button. On the bottom, we have a sort of a, a trigger button, and either side we have one button here that says Start. Just zoom out completely because sometimes it helps. That the other, there you go, Start. And I imagine the other one says Select. And yes, it does indeed. And in terms of charging, you can charge by micro USB, miniature USB, and I assume that that means that the batteries inside are therefore rechargeable and you can't get access. Now, there's two ways that you can use this device. You can use it in conjunction with the PlayStation DualShock controller, which I believe is a bit on the large side, so which is why I opted to get the PlayStation navigation controller, because it is a little bit more conducive. So let's bring out the nice big red knife and cut into this and try not to make a massive incision on my arm and pull the back off, no chance of me returning that now. A little bit of paperwork yet again, put all that rubbish off to the side and actually get to the unit itself. And here we have a navigation control bar, much like on the DualShock controller. We have the D-pad, which we will all be familiar with. Again, we have some of the traditional PlayStation buttons. We have the X button and the Circle button to the left and right of the device. And on the bottom, we have the PlayStation Home button right there. Again, on the base, you can see that it's miniature USB, and that will be what you use to charge it with. And again, we have another trigger button towards the front. And we also have the sort of little um, the button that's above the trigger, but I can't think of it. The, you know, the R1 and R2 buttons. There we go. Or L1 and L2, as it wants to prove me wrong. And on this one, we have a button that just says T. So we evidently lose the R. Anyway, that was a quick video just to show you what you can expect if you want to buy the PlayStation Move because obviously there are now a great deal of games out there that are utilised purely for the Move itself. Now in terms, and this is just a little quick shot to show you, in terms of the technology that I use in conjunction with my PlayStation 3, 42 LED Samsung television, and I also have a home cinema system that I use for the volume. Anyway, that was a quick video to let you know what you can expect when purchasing the PlayStation Move. Please remember to comment, rate and subscribe and to check out the website www.bloomcorp.com and hopefully we will see you in our next video.